Hey guys, let us quickly answer this thermoregulation question from a previous question paper. The diagram below represents a part of the human skin. Um, I don't want a bright color. Okay, so you are given the human skin with two structures that are um, labeled as A and B. Identify part B. That is easy. That is the sweat gland. Then the second question is asking you to describe how structure A functions during thermoregulation on a cold day. There is part A. So how does part A function um, as part of controlling temperature in our bodies on a cold day? So part A is the blood vessels, guys. So what is then going to happen there is that it is going to constrict. Vasoconstriction occurs. So vasoconstriction occurs meaning there will be less blood flowing towards the surface of the skin so less blood flows towards the surface of the skin and obviously there'll be less heat that is lost we're talking about a cold day less heat is lost through the surface of the skin and the temperature increases or temperature increases and returns back to normal temperature will increase and return back to normal okay then um, next question, explain why temperature needs to be kept constant in the human body. Explain for two marks. Um, so the temperature will need to be kept constant in order for enzymes to function, to function optimally. Enzymes function optimally at um, the normal body temperature the normal body temp which is obviously 37 degrees celsius so um, if we end up having low temperatures the enzymes are going to be inactive and we know in high temperatures the enzymes will denature so high temp richer will cause the enzymes to denature and low temperatures are going to cause the enzymes to become inactive.